I'm going to tell you about a demo we did. What we have here is a slot car, um, and mounted inside of it is one of our sunspots, and it's going to broadcast its accelerometer data back to a base station and into a host laptop computer. The host laptop computer is then going to take those forces, display them for us on the screen, um, and then use that information to take the forces on it and a model of the racetrack to predict and detect when the car is encountering each turn. So first off, here's the spot. And what I'm going to do right now is uh, start it off disconnected. Oops, and it connected up very quickly. You can see this again. Um, it has the red light. The green light comes on whenever it wants to send. Here, let's do this one more time. Um, OK, rebooted the spot. It starts off. It puts out a green light every time it's trying to kind of connect up to the base station. Now we'll get the base station ready to connect. And the next time it comes around here, there it's now connected up. So let's put the car a little bit off on the side there. Actually, let's put it here where you can see. So the first thing I'm going to do is again calibrate, tell the car to tell, send back its current readings in the accelerometer so we know what a zero position is when it's not moving. And I hope you can see the blue light going on there as it calibrates. Now I'm going to s tell it to send me data back across. Um, so let's just do that. And initially it's sending all zeros, and we just ignore those. But as soon as the race starts up and uh, the car starts moving, we're going to start seeing, as you can see here, the different forces on the car. In this case, we're seeing side-to-side -side forces on the car as it goes along. OK, so let's just stop this right now. And let me bring up a file that has some, a previous race, just so you can see, get a feeling for what things look like here. OK. So here's a previous race. Let's just put it down here. And let's turn off some of the features of the and what you can see here, let's again just look at those forces, the side-to-side -side forces. Um, and I'll zoom in a little bit. And you can see they're very, very noisy. So what we end up doing is filtering those. We've got a triangle filter here, and we'll increase the window size of that. And let's zoom in a little bit more. And again, now you can see as, as the car is going down part of the straightaway here, here's where it would be going through some turns somewhere around here. Here's another set of turns. And what we can ask the program to do is to use its model of the track. Here we're having data that we've already collected as opposed to data as it comes in in real time. But I can say, tell me where you think the turns are. And what you can see here now, this is where the model has it having a straightaway. They don't know, it doesn't know how long it'll be in that straightaway. But it knows that it's not going to be doing any turns here. Uh, it detects the increase in the off acceleration here, and that matches where it knows that there's a curve in the track. That curve is a curve uh, to the right, followed immediately by a short curve to the left, which is up here, and then shown by the yellow bar up here, followed by another curve to the right. It's a straightaway if, as you see the track, a big curve to the, to the right, more straightaway, some more curves. And if we scroll this across, a little too fast there, but you can see um, picking up a lot of different curves. Now let me add one other aspect to this. Um, the way this is structured, the spot is just simply passively monitoring the telemetry and sending it back to this machine for, for display. There's another computer, a, which is running real-time Java, that has a program in it that is um, controlling the voltage going to the track and how fast the car is running. This is what was there at Java 1 in the real-time Java challenge. And the track has a number of sensors on it that when the car crosses the sensor, the, the real-time program can note that and say, OK, now I'm at sensor 2. I know where I am. There's a curve coming up. I better slow down. And that's what's controlling the car. And that program uh, saved its information in terms of what times it was crossing, what sensors. And so if I, I, I read that into this program, 
we can show that down here on the bottom. I don't know how much well you can see it, but here's the voltage. Here's where it's breaking at one point. Um, and here you can see maybe where the curves actually are. And our prediction here is like right on exactly to note that. So are you zooming in? Do you, can you see that? No, that's not a very big line, but it's very nice that the, the predictions based on the acceleration data matches pretty much exactly what the, we were reading with the sensors in the other computer. Okay, so let's show you this thing in action on the track. Um, sometimes it finishes and other times it crashes and burns, so we'll have some footage of it zooming around. You'll see as the car is going, we'll be, the data will be appearing here and the program will make its predictions or detect when it thinks it's in a curve and, and show that. Okay, so we're going to try to send the car around right now, starting up the real-time job apart. And as you can see on the screen, whenever it hits a curve, uh, it affects the forces that are being sent back and marks it with a yellow bar.